Hey everyone, this is CVGS and today it's me, Brendan, being back from Tokom and here to give it to you the BS55 from uh, the Tensei era 4 box uh, all over. So this is the final box of uh, the Tensei era and it features a lot of the world killing cards because, you know, all over. <laughs> Anyways, so this set is uh, featuring more cards from the anime series Kakume no Gareto or Gareth's Revolution in Battle Spirits, which is the Rebirth era anime that is being released. Already released, uh, past three episodes, and having two more coming out this year. So, the set itself, we have on the box here, we have one campaign, uh, the campaign rare pack, which contains either the Sordius Arthur, uh, Sordius Arthur, Sordius Arthur, no, sorry, Sordius Dragoon, who is Garrett, uh, Garrett's uh, key spirit, and also the new campaign promo Alex. And on the box itself, we have uh, Garrett and Vault uh, in their battle uniforms with Explode Dragon on the back, looking really, really stunning with this white, the pastel white background. Oh, so good. Okay, so the cards we have in this set, so we have 45 commons. Uh, 12 Tensei Rares, 15 Rares, 12 Master Rares, 4, X, uh, 4, X, bleh, 4 Tensei X Rares, 9 X Rares, and 3 Double X Rares. One of the Double X Rares being the legendary, only 3 copies around the world, Amaterasu Dragon. So, <laughs> looking at the box on the back, we have the 6 quote unquote revival uh, Tensei Magic Cards, there are the Supremacy Magic Cards. So we have a uh, uh, Mushashi Ash Liger, Mini Brock Baragan, uh, Is Ishtar? I can't remember this one. This one is like Isfield Ishtar. And then we have the Golem. <coughs> What's his name again? Saigon Golem, Sodius Arthur, and the Gushiwaka. I can't remember. But yes, it's one of the green key spirits from back then in the Heroes era being uh, remastered slash remade into Tensei. Tensei magic cards that do really really fun stuff. So, now let's open up the box, shall we? Hey. So, in the box, we have the Black Campaign Bag, which contains, uh, contains either the Solid Dragoon or the Campaign Alex. So, we will put this aside for now. And in the pack itself, on the front, we have Carrot, Vault, and Explode Dragon. Looking really wonderful, and back is the information about the box itself. I'm really excited to open the set because uh, with the reviews that came out recently, and while I was in Tacom, I was I was theory crafting, making many many things, and I really want to share with you guys. So let's move on to opening the box itself, shall we? And go! And we are back. So after opening the box, uh, we were really fortunate to hit the uh, Alex on the black promo pack so that we can show you what she actually does. So, uh, we're gonna, we will be only covering the X and higher rarities as per usual. For more information on the translation and the set itself and every other set that's gonna come out and already released, that is in BS we have in the World of Cards Facebook page, link in the description below. So, starting off, we have our past Artemis as our uh, Past Grand Walker pro, uh, all in promo series, uh, promo? Yeah, promo series that has been uh, caught, started started since BS fifty two, and now we've reached the last of them. So, for uh, she uh, past Artemis, she's a she's a origin, uh, a origin visitor and machine beast family uh, card. There is also a treat uh, her card name is also treated as Grand Walker uh, Artemis. So it's like when in deck or when in hand, as long as she's not on the field as a spirit, she is counted as the Grand Walker herself. Uh, for the name wise, you know, mega spots and things. So, uh, level 1, 2, 3, when she attacks or blocks, you can destroy one opposing burst and add one call from the void to this spirit. And then level 1, 2, 3 rebirth, when you have 5 counters or less, you can't use two rebirths at the same time. When your opponent's life is reduced or if this spirit leaves the field through your opponent, you may flip this spirit and send all calls on this spirit to the reserve. So, with every other uh, all-in Tensei spirit, you know, she is the way she is and she's really good because the discard burst and randomly add one call is absolutely insane. Cost 5 also make her a very nice uh, number to be in. So, 
Her vibes are future Artemis, so she is a uh, origin Grand Walker, as with every other new uh, Olim Grand Walker that was reprinted. So has his usual and his flip at the core, blah, blah, uh, Tensei stuff, Grand Walker stuff, the same thing. So she charges for uh, White Spirits uh, through Summon and uh, Radiant Descent, so the same thing. Uh, and then level 1 2 and this Nexus rebuffs for every 2 cards in your opponent's hand and 1 core from the Void to this Nexus. And then Grand Skill 3, level 2, Flash Effect. During both players' attack step, you can send 3 calls from this Nexus to the Void. Refresh 1 of your spirit from the family, Origin of Machine Beast. Oh, and I've almost forgot to mention, her call charge is only once per turn, so once per turn on either player's turn. Okay, so Past Artemis and Future Artemis as a whole is pretty good because it supports the Machine Beast archetype really nicely with the uh, at a core gain uh, burst discard. The burst discard is actually pretty good nowadays considering how rampant uh, Lord Dragon has been going around recently. Really, really strong. Um, gaining free calls from opponent's hand size is absolutely bonkers because that supports the grand skill, which in turn supports the original Artemis' grand skill, which, you know, restanding double symbol. <laughs> Very nice card to have. Really, really good support card they gave for Machine Beast as a whole. So the next card we're going to cover is the Tensei Supremacy Magic. Luckily enough, we hit the Katana Hao Mushashi Edge Ligo one, which is the name uh, Sky, Flag, Sky Fang Flash. Yes, Sky Fang Flash. This card ha has the Origin family, Supreme Hero family, so he can be added by like those monkey, the uh, Pioneer Bard. Really good uh, way to filter out your deck for things that you want him included. So. Uh, first effect, Supreme Guidance. When an opposing spirit or ultimate attacks, you may pay. You can play the next effect from your hand. You can play this card from your hand without paying the cost. Yep. Then the Supreme Guidance can only be used uh, hard once per turn. Uh, so the the effect of the Supreme Guidance is uh, destroy one opposing Nexus and Nexus of cost three or less uh, that is destroyed by this effect cannot activate its effects. Uh, if you did destroy this card. Can rebuff. So the rebuff is when you have five counters or less, rebuff can activate at the same time, blah blah. Uh, by paying two cost, you can flip this magic card and send as many costs from a few reserves to this post reverse spirit. Pretty good new mechanic of the hand traps that uh, Bell Spirit just added to the game. It brings a little bit more spice, uh, similar to Yu Gi Oh! but not really because Yu Gi Oh! is a much mm, more complicated card game. Mm. <laughs> okay. And uh, being able to nuke the uh, two spirit ultimates of BP 10k or lower on his flash effect is really really nice as well because it's a uh, free removal. Uh, although six minus three for nuke 10k, uh, that's, that's actually quite fine in this era. But you know, there were better cards back in the day. So moving on to the flip side, we have the uh, this is another motion shift like a blah blah blah. Where is he? So the motion shift Ash Liga Origin. So uh. The usual, when this uh, Tensei Spirit flips, then you add one call to your card area, blah blah blah, from your Void. Uh, then, when this Spirit uh, rebirth or attack, you can destroy one opposing Spirit Ultimate of BP 7k or lower, Spirit Ulti, and then the destroyed Spirit Ulti um, can't use their effects. And I can't activate their effects. It's, uh, and then level 2 3, when this Spirit attacks, this Spirit gains 10k BP. Uh, in addition, if the opposing Battling Spirit is depleted or destroyed, uh, and at the end or, end or at the end of the battle, you can send one call for Bell's life to the reserve. So, the Supremacy Magic is quite easy to prop, you just need something to attack. So like against the aggressive uh, Red Primal deck, which you will see uh, them swinging uh, without uh, flipping some of their Nexuses, like New World, so they can lock your Burst and stuff like that. This card uh, handles them really nicely because uh, you can nuke their Red World or New World, and they can't flip it. And then when you turn into a spirit, you destroy like probably the attacking thing that wants you, the ones they want to chain the rest of their reverse off of. So it's a really nice card to have. Although like paying two costs is a bit painful sometimes because you may not have it, but it's a pretty nice card. And also the second effect level two three is also pretty good because uh, it is a double trigger kind of effect. So it's either when so let's say you somehow get him to target attack something and then he wins the battle, he gets to shoot one. And then after that battle finishes, he gets to shoot one again because it is uh, it is on either of the condition. Either one of them is the condition. Yeah. 
Eh? Oh, my bad. Sorry. It's only at the end of the battle that you uh, that uh, that he was in, and the battling spirit uh, or ultimate has been uh, you know battling spirit only. Sorry, has been uh, depleted or destroyed. So it's like he has to target attack something, and that thing has to leave by deplete or be, being deplete or, or die in battle or destroy or whatever. And then at the end of that battle, you send one life. So it's pretty good. Still a pretty good card overall. Uh, cost, being a cost 7 Emperor Beast is also good for Zeus. <laughs> Thunder Set Leon. <laughs> okay, anyways, let's move on to our next Tensei card, the pro black promo pack of the set, the New World Alex. Yeah, the New World's Alex. So, uh, this card's reduction symbol is also treated as yellow. She's a Keegan, uh, Keegan spirit. Uh, and when she is summoned, uh, during one turn, during this turn, play during one turn, one opposing spirit Nexus effect cannot be activated and send the Nexus uh, back to the hand. Uh, level 1, 2, 3, this spirit symbol is also treated as yellow because she's half white and yellow. Uh, level 2, 3, rebirth, when you have 5 counters or less, this rebirth can't be used at the same time, blah blah blah. When your opponent's life is reduced or when this spirit leaves the field by your opponent, you may flip this spirit. So of course, here on the spirit to the reserve. Uh, so, flip side is the New World Grand Walker Alex. So again, same thing. Instead, her uh, charge condition is uh, origin and cost 3 or higher spirit, uh, when the, whether a uh, dis uh, rainy descent or summon. Uh, uh, this, is not once per this is not hard once per turn, uh, not hard. Yeah, not once per turn, so you can spam this. And uh, when this nexus rebirth, you can add one call from the void to your reserve, field all this nexus, and draw one card from your deck. Oh, that's really good. Uh, grand field, level 2 during opponent's attack steps. So when your life is reduced by opposing effects, by sending 2 calls from this nexus to the void, your life cannot be reduced. So basically, uh, on her grand walker side, anti effect damage, free value from the draw and call. Uh, being white and yellow from this side also means her reductions are flexible. The on summon effects also pretty good because you can remove pesky nexuses that have uh, on, on leaf effect, mostly the worlds. Uh. And uh, yeah, she's a pretty decent card. Really, really nice. So, moving on to one of the newer and more anticipated cards of this set the Guardian of Time, Lombardi. He is a Origin Time Crown Fusion Beast. He's a Fusion Beast. Okay, that's pretty interesting. So, uh, level 1, 2 rebirth when you have 5 counters or less, when your opponent's life is reduced, or when your opponent plays a magic card or exo card, you may refresh and flip this spirit. Um, when this spirit attacks, you can destroy one spirit of the highest cost, and if destroyed in this battle, this spirit cannot be blocked, and this spirit is unaffected by opposing spirit or magic effects. Well, that's pretty strong. I mean, he's a tank cost, so it wasn't that strong. I see something is wrong. Okay, so on the flip side, his flip side is the Guardian of Time, Lombardi Omega. So, uh, origin Time Crown Fusion Beast, as per usual. When this uh, side is flipped up, uh, usual rebirth things. Then when this spirit rebirths by re banishing three blue spirit cards from the family, Time Crown in your trash, your opponent cannot enter main step during your next turn. Then when this spirit attacks, you destroy one opposing spirit cost 10 or less, and this spirit is unaffected by opposing effects. Wow, Lombardi is hella painful <laughs> with that rebirth effect, and also uh, being a relatively easy flip by pressuring your opponent into playing a magic or exo card and his flip side is two symbols uh, being unaffected by opposing effects on the flip side is also really 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 strong uh, yeah and on the base side is basically a god sex as well with the spirit and magic immune really really good card um, nuking your opponent's main step is basically saying hi Zeus well not really because the Zeus is winning if he's gonna use the extra so this is like pressuring them to die um, He's quite huge, so there are probably cards out there that can reduce his cost to make him easier, easily played. I see he has a hmm, quite a lot of potential here, but you know, we shall see, we shall see. So, moving on to our extras of this set, we shall start with the 5 heroes. The Heroic 5, Great Tree Protector, uh, Great Botanikaiser. He's a Origin Rounds Emperor and Tree Sprite Spirit uh, with his effect on summon. Uh, add one call to three. Uh, to hit. add one call to three green grandstone nexuses. And when this spirit attacks, you heavy exhaust one opposing spirit ultimate. If you've done so, once per turn, you send one call from your opponent's life to the reserve and refresh this spirit. If you have two counters or more, the heavy exhaust effect cannot be guarded by opposing effects. So, what this card does is on summon basically it feeds your green grandstone nexuses, which is pretty good. 
uh, because we, re we recently got a bunch of them like the uh, Fierce King Stone, Plant Spirit Stone and the uh, new Vina Stone that is also in this set pretty good because flipping Vina means you get more value and then on, on the on attack effect finally an effect that can go around the um, armor and unaffected by just being at two counters which is really great because I I, I was hoping for a card like this for a very long time for green because green didn't have a lot of um, cannot be guarded by effects because uh, you know not every color has that now I think in this set I think almost every card has that really good card he, since it's a 3 sprite means you can use the support from BS53 and 54 to 8 in this guy's uh, uprising which is going to be really good I'm quite excited for him so the next extra we have is our hmm, our count break uh, green extra the 100 million year tree Gar Sida he's a origin Ross emperor tree sprite uh, with level 1, 2, Cyclone 2, when this spirit attacks, you may heavily exhaust 2 opponent spirit ultimate. So that, I think that's the whirlwind from long, long ago. And then level 2, Calm Break, Calm break 4, when this spirit attacks, by reducing the counters by uh, 4, by minusing 4 counters. So you send 4, uh, four core from your counter to void. You must send 4, you can't send anything less. Uh, and then until your opponent's next end step, your opponent cannot move cores other than the soul core from their field or Grand Walker Nexus. Then the Calm Break is hard once per game. Uh, a lot of people are saying he's underwhelming. I think he's okay, cause uh, in a in a scenario where your opponent doesn't play things that are unaffected, he is really really good um, by shutting the cause onto the spirit so that your opponent can't respond, and then you can finish him off uh, with the raw power that he has, being double symbol twenty k for four cores. It's pretty good, not bad. Uh, three three sprite means same thing as the. But any Kaiser, you can use the Plant Spirit support cards, spawn him out, and make much, much value out of him. I'm excited for him as well. So, we have the White x of the set, the Heroic 5, Saint of Ice Pier, Grafira, uh, Origin Rouse Emperor Ice Princess. So, when she attacks or blocks, level 1, 2, 3, you can sell 1, Opposing Spirit Burst to bottom of the deck. This is the first of its kind. If you have 2 counters or more, this effect cannot be guarded by Opposing Effects. So, basically, bye bye, Alex. Oh no. But anyways, when this spirit attacks level 2 3, for each of your white spirit other than this spirit from the family Arch Princess or one or Rouse Emperor, this spirit gains one additional white symbol. And then level 3, when this spirit attacks, your opponent must send one opposing spirit to the bottom of the deck in order to play a magic card. This white extra is absolutely bonkers because the on uh all its on attack effects are insane. Being able to send the spirit or burst to bottom that can't be and and can't be stopped if you have two counters or more basically a Lickios. Uh, when this when she attacks, she also can gain symbol from the other Ice Princess and Rouse Emperors that are on the table. And knowing Ice Princesses and make and then being able to easily make unblockable spirit, she is insane. And also the level three being forcing them to bot deck one spirit to use a magic card means if they have no spirits to send to the bottom deck, they can't play any magics. So they are resorted to using axles and other forms of defense. Uh, which is really sad, which is really strong as well because if somehow uh, they do send a spirit to bot deck and then play the magic, you could stack Grand Warden on her or any other thing so that she can continue the attack and finish your opponent off. Really, really strong card. Really, really nice extras in this set so that is all that we have for you today so i hope you like what you see and if you do do slam that like and subscribe button and ring a ding that bell to get the latest notifications for our videos uh streams and other interesting things that we are going to be bringing to you in 2021 so uh you can also follow us on our socials like facebook instagram twitter uh, and you can also join us on our Discord channel, all the links in the description below, where me and the guys will be there on most nights, talking about card games, games, and more, anything in general. So, I hope you guys love this video, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye!